All right, guys, welcome. In this uh, video, I'm just going to quickly share with you how to set up your, I guess, wallet. And in this example, we are going to actually use Newton. Now, you guys have options. You don't have to use Newton. If you are Canadian and you're watching this, you can use whatever wallet you want. Actually, as a matter of fact, what I would personally suggest is to go to YouTube, go into the search uh, bar, and then just type in best wallet to use and then type your country name. So for example, if you're in Ghana, you say best wallets to use in Ghana, best wallets to use Nigeria, best wallets to use Canada, best wallets to use USA. And then you're gonna have a whole list of people who have tutorials on wallets uh, that are good and they're gonna give you their personal experience. And then from there, decide which one you guys wanna go with. So for example, if you come up with, let's say Newton for Canada, then you type in how to set up a Newton account. You guys have to take a little bit of initiative because there's so many different people from all walks of life. Uh, it's hard to have a one size fits all for everybody because we're, it's, a, it's like worldwide, right? So let's get started. I'm gonna show you guys now how to uh, sign up with Newton and then, I'm then, and then the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to set up with Exodus. If you guys are in Canada, I advise you not to use um, ShakePay, even though it's very easy to use, I find their interface very easy to use. I love ShakePay, but ShakePay has proven not to be very, um, let's say, supportive of what we like to do online. So they have kicked a lot of people off the platform, including myself. So if you are using ShakePay right now, I suggest you don't use ShakePay. So let's get into the tutorial on how to set up your Newton account. Okay, so guys, we are in the Newton uh, website. If you want the URL, go to uh, Newton, N-E-W-T-O-N dot C-O. And we're gonna now, I'm not gonna go through the Newton itself. We're just gonna quickly go through the sign up process. So on the top left, you click sign up. It's going to take you here. And I'm gonna erase all this. All right, you put your address. And you can go type of occupation. You're going to put whatever you do. Here I put real estate, specify title, a salesperson, whatever you do, just put it there. Date of birth, just put whatever. I'm just gonna make one up. But remember it has to conform with your ID, but I'm not gonna get to that part. So um, let's just, uh, let's see. Next thing is to choose your account type. So you're gonna click that. You're gonna uh, choose personal. Select this option if you want a personal account and you'll be conducting transactions on yourself. This is if you're doing on behalf of a company. And if you're be transferring money to and from a company account, you would go to corporate, so you go submit. Next is to submit a photo. And it's probably going to ask um, you to do it via your phone. So by law, they are required to take your identity. And so you get started and then it's gonna ask you which one do you want to submit and you go driver's license, for example. It's gonna ask you to uh, continue on another device or click this. It's gonna say allow camera. And then you are going to have to um, this is the challenge if you do it online. So I best recommend from, for the, this part at least, you cancel. So I recommend guys for this part, um, to go through it with your phone, download the app and then have you log in through the app and then submit it through your phone. Uh, it's going to take you through a series of identification things. So you're going to have to take a picture of the front and the back of your ID. Then it's going to ask you to, um, basically look at the camera and take, it's gonna take a right side profile and a left side profile, and then just to verify the ID that you had submitted. And then it's gonna ask you trading questionnaires, like how long have you been trading? What's your experience? Uh, and so forth. And all you gotta just say, I would recommend just, so just put like a little bit of experience when it comes to trading on the trading questionnaire, uh, nothing too fancy. And then next thing is to add funds. Now, if you're in Canada, you can add funds via e-transfer and i'm going to have to do another tutorial to show you guys how to do that it's actually pretty pretty simple i recommend getting it to this stage and then joining our webinar on how to transfer money into your account um or you can watch the other tutorial i 
I am going to make on how to add funds to your Newton account all right and it's pretty straightforward all right so guys that's it for this video I hope it helps if you have any questions or any concerns um, just reach out to your upline the person that have, has brought you here if the person uses the same uh, if the person uses Newton great if not we do host webinars with Q and A's and help for anybody who needs help with these things at least once a day. If not once a day, every other day, and you can just pop in and then any questions you have, if you're trying to get set up, if you're trying to log in, or whatever issues you have, we try to address them as best we can there um, or we kind of direct you to where you should go for that additional help, okay? That's it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.